in this video, we'll talk about how journaling can actually help you 10x your productivity. Journaling is not a new concept. It's a very old concept and it has been recommended by many different people who are productivity experts. But what we need to understand is that as we get more into the digital age, we have actually forgotten how to actually journal. And a lot of people do get a lot of thoughts when they are working on a lot of different things. And because the environment now is very, very different from when it was before, because now people are doing multiple jobs, people are handling multiple clients, and with AI introduction, there's just so much stuff to do. And if you don't get all of that into paper, and if you don't process all of your thoughts, then it's going to become very difficult for you to actually process everything. And journaling is the key factor whenever you are determining your thoughts into a paper. So a simple understanding would be that journaling helps you reprocess your thoughts and get them into a blank sheet of paper. That way, your process of thinking is not scattered all the way. Because if you are doing multiple tasks, it going to, it's going to be very difficult for you to manage all of those tasks. And you would forget some something here, something there, and it would just become a total mess. So what I recommend is that every single day, at the start of your day, start your journaling. It's not necessary that you only journal if you are, you know, you are a freelancer or you only journal if you are an employee. Even if you are in any phase of life, it really helps you create a perfect balance between how much you can actually process and how much you can actually store. So that's very important because there's a lot of things that might be on your mind, but because they are not anywhere written and they are not, you know, your main priority, you might actually forget them. And that can result in some disastrous situation, especially for people who are doing a lot of different tasks and especially for managers. So that I always recommend. What I use journaling for, so that's, that's very interesting. So I recently started journaling and that's when I realized how much important it is. So the first thing that I do when I start my day, of course, after prayers, is that I get to my notebook and I start journaling. So I start with the most important things of my day. What are the tasks that I need to do in that particular day? And then I continue writing whatever the thoughts come in mind. And what that helps is that it lets me process all of those thoughts which I have in my mind. And some of those are just not important. But just by writing them down, I actually clear them out of the way and think about the more important stuff that I need to focus on. It also helps you create a set of expectation for yourself and for the whole day. And if even if you're managing a team, then it also sets an expectation what you are expecting from them and what you can expect. So, so that's that's very important to understand. So journaling in a way can actually heal you from all of the different you know garbage that you had consumed in the previous day. What I mean by that is that you would have a garbage of different tasks come at you. And if you're not prioritizing your task, it would be very difficult for you to just focus on one thing. So there are three tips that I would like to give you whenever you are thinking about journaling. The first thing is that you need to do it at the start of your day. That's very important. If you do it at the start of your day, everything would be directed. Your whole day would be just more productive than it was before. And the second tip would be that get your thoughts on paper. So once you have finalized all of the tasks that you are aware of, just process your mind and just let your mind just flow into it. And once you let your mind flow into the paper, you would realize that there are many scattered thoughts and only the thoughts which are important and only the things which can be converted into something like an actionable item, take only those tasks and then fill in your list. That would really help you, you know, just ignore all of the bad stuff, ignore all of the messy stuff and focus on the actual stuff that really matters. The last thing is that revisit your journal. That is one of the key components that I have learned from many of my mentors is that Journaling is just not part of the process where you just look at it one day and then you forget about it. But you can actually go back and look at the process that you followed for achieving certain results. And you can also look at the process of not achieving certain results. So journaling not only helps you just reorient your mind for the day, for the week, for the month, but it also lets you revisit the process that you actually followed in order to become successful or in order to avoid failure. Because in both of those situations, you would have written all of the things that you actually followed and all of the things that you did. And if those things didn't work, then it's time to change. So that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful for you and you can start your journaling. If you have any questions with regards to how to journal, where to start, just kickstart it anywhere. But if you have any question, you can come back to me. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Um, like this video if you